Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Our devotion to serving you beloved is infinite. We have the advantage of knowing the true nature of your soul when you are not engaged in breaking the codes of duality. Prior to your incarnation, we promise to serve you in any way that you would allow us by reminding you that you are not the conditions you have inherited. Your true nature has already ascended. By that we mean you have already experienced your mind being of service to your heart. In that relationship you have already claimed your soul to be united within you. Only those that have tasted the fruits of a united consciousness could enter into this web of confusion called Earth to be the new teachers. We use that term to describe the unlimited expression of your love for yourself. Your devotion to your soul family has you entering into a vast array of realities. It might appear to be a great sacrifice on your part to volunteer to forget your true nature by adapting to the collective consciousness at hand. You would taste the pain and suffering of that consciousness knowing that it takes but a glimmer of love to reawaken your authentic self. There is great joy in planting seeds of love within the barren landscapes of fear. Many of you have already experienced your heart awakening from its deep sleep, while others have just begun this journey. It is through the heart that we are able to reconnect with each of you. Our agreement is to remind you that your past does not define the magnificent being that we know you to be. As you grow to recognize that for yourself, you also begin to reveal the nature of Christ consciousness fully embodied as a human being. Each of you reading these words have experienced the stirring in your heart. You are questioning your reality, the roles you are playing in your personal relationships, in your jobs, and within yourself. Our service to you is to inspire you to heal your inner conflict and to discover a love for yourself that is not dependent on being loved by someone else first. We are encouraging each of you not to take our words at face value. We have no interest in providing more concepts for your mind to consider. The value of our teaching is directly related to the enhancement of your day-to-day -day reality. You must be willing to put yourself in experiences that will challenge the dualistic nature of your inherited beliefs, shifting the very nature of your perceptions which have relied on your mind. Your family and friends will pull on you to remain attached to keep playing the victim game. You did not come here, to offer an improved version of victimhood. You did not descend from the stars to introduce a fully awakened, empowered victim. You volunteered to embody spirit as a living example for all of life to witness. In our relationship with you, we too have come to a crossroad. Our words can inspire you, but they cannot give you the experience that your heart yearns to feel. The choice to physically embody your authentic nature has only been experienced by a few humans. There are millions of you now contemplating this leap. The describer, your mind, continues to serve you by trying to create a safe passage for you. It is not your mind's responsibility to make this leap for you. It cannot give you the details of a life that is free of duality until you, soul, free yourself. Within the perception of your heart, we now invite you to leave behind the pain and sorrow of your past and feel the presence of spirit whirling in and around every cell of your body. We see before each of you a new opportunity existing in a vast open prairie. This symbolizes the openness to expand upon more of who you are, and we celebrate that. It is a grand prairie. Standing next to you is a horse that has served you for most of your life. This horse looks weary, bored, and disillusioned. Its back is bowed and its head almost touches the ground. A rope is tied to its neck and is attached to a center pole guiding its walk around a well-trodden path. There is very little joy left in this horse, but its sense of duty and devotion has it walking in circles over and over again. You climb on this horse, and we see how comfortable and complacent you have become riding this companion. You have also given this horse a name that we now come to remind you. You call it denial. Surrounding this well-traveled path is a fence. Sitting on the fence is your past. Your family, friends, husbands and wives, co-workers and 98% of humanity. It is a grand gathering to witness such a downtrodden event. The discussions on this fence generates much sympathy for numerous failings and grand scheming for achieving that elusive contentment. You invite us to meet this horse, sharing that although the ride can be boring, it is safe and comfortable. 
you explain the virtues of looking directly in front of you, never sidetracked by all the diversions and distractions of life. We smile, but politely decline. You show us that on occasion you have jumped off of this horse, sat on the outlying fence and gazed at the vast prairie behind you. Others have suggested that you are wasting your time daydreaming, encouraging you to put your efforts into things that are real. We invite you to look at us, eye to eye and ask why are you riding this horse called Denial, beloved? You look at us a little puzzled and invite us to go back in time and remember the grand celebration just prior to leaving the kingdom. Indeed, we see a grand celebration taking place. You have just received the ultimate gift from God or Goddess. They bestowed all of their creative abilities to you that all may embody a love that is uncontained. We see you and many others preparing to leave the kingdom while sitting on the back of a grand stallion. These horses are bursting with fire, pouncing their hooves with excitement for this new adventure. The stallions prance about filling the air with expectation and wonder. Their heads are held high, eyes blazing with determination and trust. Fire is bursting from their nostrils as they prepare themselves to journey into the unknown. The excitement is building and overwhelming and suddenly there is a resounding, unified chant, now. In that moment, these stallions burst forward. Your arms are spread like an eagle over your head. With your eyes closed, you blissfully gallop to the very edge of the kingdom, exploding into the vastness of the void itself. We take a deep breath, yes. What a magnificent story. It reminds us why it is that we have chosen to serve you. Looking at this horse called Denial we wonder why you and humanity would choose such a horse now that you reside on the other side of the kingdom. The passion to discover a love uncontained has faced many challenges. You have questioned many aspects of yourself including the wisdom to trust in a passion that brought you to this new reality. What a grand, grand story. We saw your adventures as you discovered and created new star systems. We see the yearning in your heart to return home to experience the familiar relationship with a love that came directly from God or Goddess, your original mother and father. We see your turmoil in accepting the gift to be sovereign and complete within yourself. We see humanity playing out these deep-seated feelings, day after day. Indeed, your galactic history has been grand. Your wisdom to honestly examine and embrace your own reflection is also a part of your past here on Earth. There is something new however stirring within your heart. When you have turned and looked out into that vast landscape, that open prairie of new opportunities, you have noticed that there also exists another horse. It raises its body off the ground while standing on its back legs and sings its song of freedom. Pouncing the ground, it turns its head and looks directly into your eyes. You know me soul, I am a stallion. With your knees feeling a little weak, you proclaim yes, I know you. A part of you feels pulled to return to the safety of the horse called denial. That horse reminds you of all the pain and turmoil this stallion has brought you, all the disappointment, frustration and anger. You ponder this while feeling a passion within this stallion that begins to stir your curiosity. Suddenly, you jump off the fence and begin to walk towards this stallion. All of those still sitting on the fence begin to shout at you, sharing that it is not safe to venture out into that open prairie. You hesitate for a moment and begin to listen to their fears when it strikes you that you have heard these same concerns your whole life. You face the stallion again and with each step you begin to feel more alive as if waking up from a long sleep. Excitement begins to brew as your walking quickly turns to running. The voices of those still sitting on the fence begin to fade. You notice the smell of the grass in this prairie is intensely sweet. The air feels crisp and alive while the sun seems to be massaging your heart. You begin to pick up speed, running now with complete abandon, feeling layers of decaying energy sliding off your body. Finally you reach this stallion. It indeed is a most beautiful and powerful horse. As it turns to look at you gazing with so much affection and admiration it pounces the earth with its hoof and proclaims ride me. You are shocked by your response. Without any hesitation you jump on its back clinging to its mane while this stallion bursts into a full gallop. It takes your breath away as you wrap your arms around its neck and it turns to you and says relax, let her presence ride with me. Slowly you loosen your grip, 
relax your arms, and begin to feel your heart bursting with joy. Your arms begin to rise above your head, you close your eyes as this stallion begins to soar across the plains of this prairie. Wave upon wave of bliss and ecstasy ripple throughout your entire body. With tears flowing in all directions you shout for all of life to hear, I am home. Finally I am home free at last. The stallion stops and you open your eyes expecting to find yourself back in the embracement of the kingdom, but you find that you are still on this open prairie. How can this be? This energy that you now feel is what your soul has been searching for since you left the kingdom. It is home. How could it be here with this stallion in this open prairie? Your eyes are now wide open and you begin to notice in the distance a herd of stallions with riders galloping towards you. Memories of grand galactic confrontations begin to surface. Your stallion again turns to you and reminds you to relax and let her presence support this ride. As this herd gets closer, you notice the faces of these strangers appear to be smiling and rejoicing at your arrival. Could it be? Your horse turns to look at you as more tears begin to flow. Michael? My entire soul family, you are here. You are suddenly surrounded by a wave of congratulations, laughter, and joy. Archangel Michael steps off his horse and deeply bows before you. It is so good to see you again. We thought we lost you while you were riding that other horse of yours. Everyone laughs, slapping you on the back while embracing you. You turn to Michael and ask, Can I ride this stallion and still be on Earth? Michael's eyes glimmer, indeed, and we can ride with you, beloved. You ask, must we be separate from each other, for I cannot bear the pain any longer. Michael puts his hand on your shoulder. No longer must you deny yourself the fruits of your desires. You have discovered while playing human the solution to your pain. You have allowed your male and female nature to ride together. And do not bliss and passion make for a delicious ride. You gaze at this magnificent archangel, yes, indeed they do my friend. A life of service our companion, Robert, discovered us while riding upon these planes within his own imagination, bringing that experience into his day-to-day -day reality. Many of you have placed your feet upon this open prairie, only to be discouraged by the many voices within yourself and in your culture. Most of you are attempting to live your life while straddling both realities. We will say it again. You did not come here to discover an improved version of duality. You are here to discover a solution to the polarized relationship within yourself. We often hear, what is the most accelerated path to embodying our ascended state of consciousness as a human being? We would suggest a life that is supported by the heart of creation, freely expressing itself in unlimited, self-fulfilling experiences. Love will not be content being contained. Your life will serve the solution you discover while riding this stallion. A life of service is a very potent way of life. In this new relationship, it does not ask of you to sacrifice your personal well-being, to compromise your value, or to negotiate your joy. It does not require that you perfect the healing of your inner conflicts. Being of service is serving your own self-fulfillment. It is loving yourself by sharing the many gifts you already embody. Many of you are just beginning to contemplate if there is a life outside this corral called duality. We are here to serve the human that desires to be free and to stop relying on this horse you call denial. We cannot twist your arm to convince you that this is in your best interest. We can inspire you to experience the presence of a sovereign heart that chooses a way of life without compromising its worth. Each of you carry the mantle of Christ consciousness within you. You have discovered that there is very little support for such a consciousness in a reality that is divided within itself. You have attempted to break the chains of duality by relying on your mind to force yourself free. The Divine Male, your mind is waiting for the ride of your life. This stallion represents a life that unites your mind, body, and spirit with the heart of creation. Her presence does not force change, it invites each of you to choose for yourself. Your new freedom has nothing to do with adapting to the collective consciousness of humanity. For humanity will continue to insist that if you do not adapt, you will not survive. Lying outside that corral of fear is an unlimited expression of love. In that open prairie, you become reunited with your soul family, 
reawakening the memory of your true self and reigning your desire to embody Christ consciousness. Your authentic self. There is a grand celebration waiting for each of you. As our words for this book come to an end, it is also an invitation for a new beginning. The next chapter is now your life. How it will unfold will be your choice. Together, we may serve this polarized reality. You are the new teachers that have come riding upon this earth on grand stallions which are supported by the heart of creation. Now is the time to choose a life that is not clouded by your doubts and fears. Now is the time to trust that your feelings are your best barometer. Is there a storm looming in your horizon or will you allow the clouds to pass and enjoy the fruits of a clear mind and an open heart that have fallen in love with each other? Your life will demonstrate that spirit will freely come to you. It only asks that you put denial in the stable and give it the rest it deserves. It is safe to reveal your gifts, trust your passions, and let life support your new creations. There is a grand family reunion waiting for each of you. It is time beloved to once again ride this magnificent stallion that gallops within the heart of her ecstatic presence. It is time to ride your new passions with a renewed sense of joy and enthusiasm. It is time for you to love yourself in all the ways that you had hoped others would do for you. It is time to allow an undiluted version of yourself to be present, joyfully engaged with life. It is time to acknowledge your fears placing yourself in experiences that serve to heal your guilt. This is your time to become what you have yearned to feel your whole life. To accept a new relationship that is just now unfolding within you, knowing that even in its infancy, its reflection inspires and motivates humanity to question a life that lacks joy. Your true identity is love itself. It is not a burden. It is a gift. If you allow it, we now ride by your side each day, supporting your gift, your service that is supported by your love. Now is that time to live life knowing that your life offers the very solution to humanity's troubled mind. You are here to offer tangible evidence that the heart of creation is real. How many ways are you willing to see that presence in yourself reflected back for all of life to see? Sharing the embodied presence of self-love makes self-fulfillment complete. It is time to bring your presence full circle. How do we serve you Creator? Michael